Evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Studies show substance abuse has increased significantly in colleges across the country and those who abuse substances are more likely to struggle academically. Now an Aggie is hoping to bring a program to Texas A&M aimed at helping those struggling with substance abuse and addiction. News 3's Donnie Tuggle has her story. I hate that he's a statistic. When Angie Rogers lost her son Brandon in 2015, he was one of 35,000 lives cut short that year due to an overdose. A number Angie says unfortunately continues to grow each year. In 2021, it was over 107,000 in just those few short years. Experts say drugs like alcohol, marijuana, and prescription pills are becoming more popular on campuses across the country. That's why this Aggie is on a mission to help bring a collegiate recovery program to Texas A&M. It's a place where students who find themselves, whoa, I'm drinking too much, or wow, I'm, I'm doing too many drugs, or whatever, if they find themselves in trouble, they can go to the Re collegiate recovery program and get support. Kevin Doyle leads education programs at the country's top addiction treatment center. He says universities are changing the way they look at students suffering from addiction. I think the general response over the years was disciplinary. You know, let's let's expel students or send them off to treatment. But what do, what do we do to support a student who's actually in recovery. Doyle says many students are seeking out universities with specialized programs for substance abuse and addiction. Students are becoming more and more educated and they have expectations about what their college or university will offer to them. And you can't bring Brandon back, but says when Aggies see a need, they draw others to the cause, hoping no family goes through the same pain. I hate that I lost my son. It's the, the worst pain I think that any person can imagine, but I'm thankful that God has given me an opportunity to not waste an ounce of the pain that I'm feeling. In College Station, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. New at 10, a woman.